Harley Davidson. In the news lately, a lot of stuff happened with you, and I gotta tell you, as much hell as I give those boys up in corporate for not knowing anything about our motorcycle culture and us riders and only thinking about numbers and business and how that has hurt the sales, I have to give credit when credit is due, and some good things have just come out from Harley Davidson. Now while this video I am going to let you all know some facts, a lot of it's going to be my opinions and I really am truly interested in hearing what y'all's opinions are. So please let me know down in the comments below so I can read them, see maybe some different perspectives I didn't think of before making this video. If you support our police the way I do, there's one event to make this year and it is Ride the Line. Happening this June 11th through 13th right at my K River Campground where we will be creating the longest thin blue line. It is $15 to stand on the line and this year's beneficiary is the Charity Cops. If you can't make it and still want to help donate, go to my website adamsandoval.com and you can make a donation to Cops right there. Quarter 1, 2021, Harley Davidson shows a 9% gain. Now, at first glance, that is huge news, great news, something to be excited about. Brand you and I all love so much is potentially making a comeback. But corporate numbers aren't always as black and white as they seem, so let's keep that in mind and remember this. There's a lot of playing a company can do to make their numbers appear better or worse. You know, you can only go so far with it, but you certainly can tweak things, if you will. Now, while 2020 was an odd year, we had a lot of factories and facilities and businesses closing down, which resulted in less products being made, created a demand for those products. The numbers are pretty staggering from last year to this year. How much of it has to do with the issues we had in 2020 and how much of it has to do with actual business plan and development? Hard to say, but quarter one, 2020, Harley Davidson, the motor company, did $70 million. At first, that seems like a real lot of money. Well, come to think of it, it's a blue ton of money. How many of my brand new stubborn American t-shirts would I have to sell to make $70 million? And then the question is, what would I do if I made $70 million? I guarantee you, I'd be helping a lot of people. And what Harley Davidson did with their 70 million is in their quarterly report. You can go take a look at it and see what kind of things they're doing. But 70 million, as big of a number as it seems, is not so big when you look at 2021's quarter one. Count that 259 million. That is a 270 2% increase over last year. While some of that growth has to be from the very difficult year we had in 2020, I believe a lot of it has to do with some of the business decisions they've been making lately. And you can find a link right here to exactly what I'm talking about. I actually said, I think these moves they've been making over the last year are gonna create growth. And indeed, I believe some of them have. 75% of the motorcycles they sold in quarter one, 2021, were sold right here in America where the company started, where the brand built its roots. One market Harley-Davidson should be hanging on to for dear life. And I think it's important to hang on to America for dear life, not only because of the roots, but because their second largest market is under attack. That's right, the European market has introduced a 56% tariff that directly affects Harley-Davidson's motorcycles and of course, their sales. And this is exactly the type of thing that we can't control. You know, these different markets that are going to be outside of our home country and the import and export tariffs and things like this, they're always kind of a gamble, especially in today's climate. So keeping your cards close to your chest this day and age is probably a really good thing. All in all, I think Harley Davidson has a long road ahead of them. I think this huge growth you see here may be temporary. You may not see it in quarter two or three or four, or maybe the beginning of next year. There may be some correction, but nonetheless, it's a move in the right direction. I'm excited about it. I hope you all are excited about it. My news, my advice, my words to Harley Davidson corporate out there, if you're listening, y'all just stay the course. Pay attention to why us riders ride your motorcycles. There's a reason for it. 
and it's not just because you're the most expensive and it's not just because you've got the fanciest paint. There's a very good reason we all ride your motorcycles. Y'all need to figure that out. You need to stay focused on it. You need to work towards delivering that to your customer base. And no matter how many hurdles get in your way, like crazy tariffs, y'all, you stay stubborn. If y'all enjoyed getting a quick to the point list of some of the things that are happening in the motorcycle world, please consider going down and smashing that subscribe button for me. It helps me out tremendously and makes it easy for me to make more videos for you.